they don't, they, they, are, they hear so much about Muslims and violence, ISIS and all this stuff. You look at the number of people ISIS, they go, I don't like ISIS, okay? I don't support ISIS. Um, you know, there's lots of things they do that are absolutely unacceptable. But if you look at the number of people, let's say, that the Egyptian government now has in prison, the number of people that the Egyptian government killed since the coup of 2013, I mean, you're talking about thousands and thousands of civilians. You know, maybe dozens of thousands of people are in prison, uh, wrongly being tortured and raped in prison. I mean, is, you know, what, what's the difference between that and ISIS, really? I mean, you know, you're, you're talking about governments or, or, or organizations that kill thousands of innocent people in prison or, or torture thousands of innocent people. But no one thinks about, you know, all you hear, hear is how bad ISIS is. They don't think about other things that, you know, so they, they, they are convinced that somehow Islam leads to these evils. But there's exactly the same number of evils or amount of evil being done by something that's absolutely un, uh, that's not justified by Islam at all, or not even attempting to justify itself. So uh, I, I think this is, you know, ISIS exists because the United States invaded Iraq and destroyed all the institutions of that country and left it in a complete mess. That's, that's a fact, okay? Uh, ISIS doesn't exist because of Islam, because Islam was in Iraq before 2003, and there was no Sunni extremists, there was no Sunni terrorism, there was no ISIS before 2003. This, result, this emerged in Iraq at, because of the United States invasion. That's what caused ISIS. Islam didn't cause ISIS. But if you look at the U.S. media, it's obsessed with getting people to talk about, is Islam the cause of ISIS? Is ISIS because of Islam? Why does it do that? Because the function of media and government is to prevent people from actually, in this case, prevent them from actually reflecting on the actual causes of this phenomenon, which is United States uh, unjust warmongering. Because if people sat there and said, hey, wait a second, we got talked into invading this country, it was a total disaster, now we have this ISIS business, then they might say, hmm, maybe we shouldn't go and invade countries the next time we're asked by our government to support a war. Uh, that's not what the kind of uh, power elite or the military media industrial complex wants. They don't want people thinking like that. So they have to sit and, and place the focus on some other cause. Oh, this is because of Islam. They don't want Americans actually thinking about what really causes these things. So when I, when I, when I, when I tell you know, Muslims or even non-Muslims about this is don't be bamboozled by what you see on TV. It's very simple. I mean, I know it's obvious, but just because people say stuff a lot on TV doesn't make it true. 